Hey, it's Randy from Funeral Funds of America. In this video, I'm going to share with you the actual pricing for $15,000 worth of burial, cremation, final expense, life insurance, or funeral funds for a 58-year-old female. Now, the first thing I encourage you to do is go directly to our website, and we have these free quotas on just about every page. And all you do is you just select the state that you live in. We're licensed in all 50 states, by the way. Select the coverage amount. And then put your birthday in there and the rest of the info, click Get Quotes Now. It will take you to a page that's going to show you all the best insurance companies with all the lowest rates. And that will help you avoid so many of those plans out there you see advertised on TV or magazines that they offer those low teaser rates. And then when you call the insurance company, that teaser rate is for, for such a small amount of coverage, it doesn't make sense. And then they upsell you. They try to upsell you into a more expensive policy, which you should not fall for. And it will also help you avoid those plans that have two-year waiting periods that in many cases are 200% more expensive than first day coverage. Now, the, you can also call us at our toll-free 888-862-9456. And one of our agents can help you over the phone as well. Now, the first thing you should ask yourself as a 58-year-old female looking at $15,000 worth of insurance is, is that going to be enough insurance for your final expense needs? Now, typically, final expense, we're talking either a cremation or burial. Now, the average cost for a cremation in the United States, where you just come home in a cardboard box or an urn, is between one to $2,000. And if you're going to have some sort of ceremony with the cremation, maybe a celebration of life or remembrance ceremony, that is typically going to be right around $3,500 to $4,500. So coverage-wise, we would recommend for that cremation where you come home in the cardboard box or an urn, probably between five to 7000 is what most people are getting. And you, you, you might be thinking, well, hold on, Randy. I mean, that's $5,000 worth of insurance, but it's only going to cost a max of 2000 Well, the thing is, is you're 58 years old. And you'll probably get to 68, hopefully, and maybe 78, maybe maybe 88. And we know that the price of a cremation now is not what it's going to be in the future due to inflation. So we always get a little bit more coverage. We don't go crazy with the coverage, but get a little bit more. And that inflation proofs your plan in the years to come. And let's say you did die in the first few years. There's also a little extra money built in there that's available to the family immediately to pay any you know, other funeral expenses, final expenses, maybe medical bills or something like that. So it works out well on both ends of kind of the policy life. And then, and if you're going to have that cremation and ceremony, we would typically recommend right around $7,000 to $10,000. Again, it's a little bit more insurance right off the bat. The inflation proofs your plan, but it also provides some money. Gosh, you know, God forbid you would die sooner than you thought. So one thing we always recommend is the first day coverage or benefits. And that's the only thing we help people with here at Funeral Funds of America. We do not, we do not recommend those two-year waiting period plans. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah, don't recommend that at all. But what first day coverage means is that hypothetically, if your policy were approved and issued today that and you died tomorrow the insurance company would pay out that check for 15,000 or 20 or 25 or 5 or 10 whatever it is they would pay that out and that's exactly what you want first day coverage but a lot of people would say you know Randy I like that first day coverage but I'm not in the best of health and I'm worried I'm not going to qualify and to that we always say hey your health is our concern not your concern at least when it comes to this insurance the reason we say that is we work with so many different insurance companies, they all ask different health questions and they all have different underwriting. And 90 to 95% of the time, we're able to get people first day coverage or benefits. Really, the only reason we wouldn't is if you had some real significant health issues going on, like you had a terminal illness and you're going to pass away in the next 12 months, or you had dementia, or you are on dialysis, or you are in a hospital or in a nursing home or something like that. If that's the case, we would typically recommend uh, refer you out to a different insurance company. The other thing that seems to happen every week, it seems, is somebody will call us up and say, hey, we had a family member pass away this last week, and they didn't have any insurance, and we don't have any money, and other bodies at the funeral home, and the funeral director's not going to do anything 
until he gets a check in his hand. So we need to get this insurance really quick and then we can pay the funeral home director. And we have to let them know there's no insurance company in the United States that's going to issue a policy on a dead person. You have to be alive to qualify for this insurance. And it's, it's absolutely terrible that this person went and died and didn't have this insurance. They knew they were going to die someday. They probably thought about getting this insurance at some point in the past, thought they would do it someday, and they never got another someday. They done went and died. And now the family has to pay for it. And typically what ends up happening is they put it on credit cards and they're going to pay 26% interest rate. And your, your legacy, even though you've done everything right, perhaps in your life, your legacy, they're going to remember you for leaving them with these expenses because they're probably still paying for it years and years and years later. So don't, don't let that be your legacy. Just take care of this. If you can't get everything you want, get what you can afford. We can always help you add more coverage later. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we don't recommend the two-year waiting period plans. Colonial Pen, you may not know this, but Colonial Pen, their 995 plan is a two-year waiting period plan. But they're, they're not the only ones. There's Mutual of Omaha, United of Omaha, their, their line there, uh, AIG, Gerber. Gosh, there's just a host of other companies out there too. And some of these companies have done an amazing job at convincing the American public that if you're over age 50, the only thing you will qualify for is a plan with a two-year waiting period policy to which we always say, ha, 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 don't believe such nonsense. No, we help people with first day coverage all day long. Now, our 58-year-old female is probably watching that Colonial Pen 995 commercial and thinking she's pretty smart. She's going, I waited till age 58. And this 995 insurance looks really good. You know, I'm probably going to get 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. And uh, it's not the case. Yeah. Let's take a look here. One unit of coverage here, 995, is only going to pay out $1,620. Now, $1,620 is probably enough to pay for a cremation in most parts of the country. But this plan's got a two-year waiting period, and it's not going to pay out anything in two years. And, of course, the cremation is going to cost more in two years than it does right now. So, yeah, man, that, that 995 is really woefully inadequate for most people's needs. So, And it's got that two-year waiting period. Let's see if we can find out what $15,000 worth of coverage is here. Uh, is that going to be like nine units? I don't know. There we go. So, yeah, let's look at 10 units. That's going to put us way over. So I guess nine units... And you can't buy fifteen thousand dollars worth of insurance through, you know, Colonial Pen for a fifty-eight-year-old female, because they sell it by unit, not by coverage amount. And then you always end up with those wackadoodle numbers, and like fourteen five hundred and eighty dollars. But that's going to be roughly ninety dollars. So let's see what fifteen thousand dollars worth of coverage would be if it's first day coverage. So fifteen thousand uh, female age 58 and get quote let's go back here and look real quick again 15 and it's not even 15 but it's 90 dollars. and here we go we can get first day coverage level coverage here first day coverage for right around 43 dollars and if you can do your math that's less than half price and this isn't even 15,000. so we know if this were 15 this number would be even higher so in this case colonial pen is uh roughly no, it's not roughly. It's more than 200% more expensive. Yeah. And, uh, you know, roughly $47 more a month-ish, something like that. 47 times 12 months, that's going to be right about, is that $564 a year? And then if our 58-year-old our female has this policy for 10 years and she makes it to age 68, she will have overpaid right around $5,640 versus going with first day coverage. So, oh my gosh, you need to be a smart consumer. And if you're not a smart consumer, let us help you be a smart consumer. Because we're talking, you know, $5,640. We'd love to see you keep that money in your own pocket versus give that to an insurance company that's going to overcharge you and sock you with a two-year waiting period. 
Yeah. So yeah, just be smarter than that. We can we can help you be smart though. Just reach out to us. Let's look at some other companies here though. Uh, you'll be able to see all these different companies. Let's see. We're forty three. You know, here's one, even even uh, Lumico, first day coverage, but they're $10 more a month, roughly. So that's uh, $10 a month times 12 months is $120 a year. After 10 years, you have overpaid $1,200. You know, again, it's not a lot of money, but why wouldn't you want to keep $1,200 of your own money for the same exact coverage amount? It makes no sense to overspend on this insurance. Let's look at a couple others here. Um, oh, yeah, here's Lincoln Heritage. Uh, they're a fine company, I, I guess, but, but look at that pricing, right? Ooh, almost seventy, almost sixty-four dollars. It is level coverage, which means first day, so that's good. But yeah, they're more expensive, and the reason they're more expensive is they've got a deal that when you pass away with their plan, they will call two or three different funeral homes to supposedly get you the best pricing. Maybe do a couple of other things, but they charge for that. It's not free. It's not inexpensive. So Lincoln Heritage is about $21 more a month. So times 12 months, I think that's that's right at $252. And um, if our 58-year-old female lives another 10 years to age 68, you will have overpaid Lincoln Heritage right around $2,520, just roundabout. So you got to ask yourself, is it worth it to overpay an insurance company $2,520 roughly to make two or three phone calls and do a couple other things that probably only take an hour or so to do. Uh, mo most people would say that's a pretty good payday for the insurance company. And, you know, we would we would tend to agree with that. And we don't recommend that at all. We recommend going with the more affordable coverage, which we can help you get approved with. And then what we have and offer is a free funeral and estate planning guide. And you just download that off our website and then you print it out and then you just fill it out. You write down who gets what and what goes where and what you want done to you after you're gone. And then you keep that with your insurance policy. And then when you pass away, your family goes to that place where both documents are. And they are not only protected financially with the insurance that you set aside for them, but they're also protected emotionally with the funeral and estate planning guide because you will tell them everything that you want it done. They won't have to guess. They will know exactly what to do. And they'll be able to do that They'll be able to execute your wishes with the money that you've provided for them. And what a wonderful legacy to leave behind. What a wonderful gift to leave behind. They will know that you not only love them in life, but you love them in death. And actually in death is when they're going to need you the most to be there for them. Even if you're not here physically, they'll know that you were thinking of them long before you passed away. And what a wonderful legacy to leave behind. So go to funeralfunds.com. We've got a free quarter and uh, especially for our YouTube viewers, funeralfunds.com forward slash YouTube, and you can get the lowest prices and the most discounts. You can call us at 888-862-9456. One of our agents can help you get the best pricing or answer any questions. So if you have an existing policy and you want us to price shop it, or you want to add more coverage to an existing policy, we can help you out with that. If you are looking for a brand new policy or just have questions about a policy and and want some help with that, we can help you out with that. But we look forward to the day where we can help you get the most amount of coverage for the least amount of money. And until that day comes, you just stay safe, you take care, and we look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.